three exercises that you should cut out of your program right now. The barbell bench press, the barbell bend over row, and the sumo deadlift. Number one, the barbell bench press, specifically the wide grip barbell bench press. We feel that really, really good stretch in your pecs is actually just creating more and more impingement, especially as you get stronger and you move to heavier loads on all those presses. Some people say that there are no bad movements, and I think that's a silly thing to say. When we're talking about bony impingement, we're talking about a situation where the muscles are not in a very good position to actually contribute to force production. We tend to feel sensation when we're in danger. We don't feel sensation when we have proper muscular mechanical tension. Where the pecs are best stretched is actually tighter to the rib cage. Exercise number two, the barbell bent over row. Now, I just think that for any goal that the barbell row accomplishes, some other exercise can accomplish that at a higher level, a level that's more specific and more effective. If you want to train back, you should train it in a position where your chest is supported on something and where your spinal erectors and your core are not going to be the limiting factor of the movement. If you want to train spinal erectors, you should either train a heavier movement like a conventional deadlift or a movement where you can acquire a lot more range of motion through spinal extension like with cables or like with a 45 degree hip extension. If you're looking for an exercise that accomplishes spinal erector growth and back growth at the same time, you're probably better off just supersetting exercises because those will be differentiated enough and more specific enough to where neither the back, like the muscles like the lats and the upper back, will be affected by all the spinal extension work that you do. Number three, the sumo deadlift. Now, unless you're a power lifter and you're trying to lift as much weight as possible, the only thing that the sumo deadlift is actually good for is making you better at the sumo deadlift. If you're trying to grow your glutes or your adductors or your quads, there are tons of better options out there that have more range of motion and less potential risk for injury because of the amount of load that you can use with that exercise. In general, we should understand that we're trying to actually maximize range of motion and maximize challenge within that range of motion for a particular muscle if we're trying to grow it and get it stronger. Sumo deadlift is only stretching the adductor magnus, so that big hip extension muscle on the inside of the thigh. It's not gonna stretch the glutes and require much challenge from the glutes, and it's not gonna stretch the quads or require much of a challenge from them either. Now, I don't wanna just crap on a bunch of exercise and not give you guys and girls any alternatives, so here are three alternatives to all those exercises that could do a better job for those particular goals. To replace the barbell bench press, any sort of dumbbell bench press or any sort of machine press that actually converges inward uh, for those pectoral fibers to be stimulated. These exercises are gonna require a better stretch of the pecs and a much safer position of the shoulders. Exercise number two, to replace the barbell row. Any sort of dumbbell row, any sort of machine row, any sort of cable row would be much better off, preferably all chest supported to grow the back. If you're looking to grow spinal extensors, you can use different activities with different kinds of cables, which I'll show here, and any sort of activity where you have a 45 degree hyperextension, which I'll show here. To replace exercise number three, if you wanna grow your quads, I would choose a pendulum squat or a hack squat, or even if you don't have access to those, potentially a heel elevated high bar squat. To grow the glutes, I would recommend regular narrow stance RDLs, split squats and lunges, and narrow stance leg press with the feet a little bit higher up on the leg press. To grow the AD ductor magnus, I would do lunges where you're stepping out slightly more to the sides, or I would simply just choose the AD duction machine uh, where you're actually just closing your legs inward. If you don't have access to an AD duction machine, no problem, you can either find an ankle strap and attach it to your ankle and use cables to train that AD duction. If you don't have access to cable machines, something else you can do is just put your knee up on a bench and do a modified Copenhagen plank where you're working up and down through that entire range of motion. If you disagree with any of the things I said, great, awesome, leave it in a comment below and let's have a good sound discussion about all these points.